What's going on, people? So, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm not sure what all it is, but normally I'd wait till the end of the month to do all my little figure and whatnot unboxings, but I'm kind of trying to get some stuff out of the way. So, I'm just going to do this now. And then whatever figures I happen to get between now and then, which I don't think will be very many at all, should all be just from Ringside Collectibles. And then I'll just do a solo Ringside Collectibles video at some point in the future. And that should just kind of round everything off. So first up, this box here comes from Pro Wrestling Tees, which is having a sale, like right this very moment, because it's Black Friday time, right? And that's what people do. So this right here, got this here Christian Cage Micro Brawler. I saw somebody post this on the old Instagram the other day, and I was like, man, that's a pretty cool one. I didn't know that came out. And now here it is. It's probably been sitting here in this apartment for weeks. Who knows? So I did know that it came out, and I did have it. I just wasn't aware of that so much, you know? It happens. If you buy a lot of crap, that's probably why you shouldn't buy a lot of crap, you know? If you can't remember what all of it is, you know, I think that's why you don't keep buying it, right? And here we have some shirts. So looks like this is going to be a partially a shirt video too. I thought, figured this was just some figures or something. All right, so, oh, this must be from when they had like that New Japan sale. So what does it say? Grand Slam Club from when Jay White and became in the Grand Slam Club, joined the Grand Slam Club, whatever. So there's all his accomplishments and stuff on the back. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it was like a 30% off sale when they did this last month or something like that. And so I just figured, let me go get a shirt or two or more according to the size of this box. Up next, we have this right here. This is one of the El Fantasmo shirts, right? So there's that one for you. And moving right along. I did like that one, like the purple and the green. It's a color combination I don't see a whole lot. I, I mean, my green geckos are that color, you know, but it's just one that doesn't happen often, but it looks really cool when it does. And here's one of the Bullet Club shirts, right? Standard sort of thing. It's just kind of got some sort of distress sort of vibe going on. I almost didn't buy it because it looked like camo from a, from the pictures and stuff. And I don't do camo on clothes. It's just not my thing. So I was going to not get it. But then I looked closer because it did happen to look kind of cool, you know. And I was like, oh, okay, this is fine. And then we have this. This is also a Bullet Club shirt. It just is written in Japanese. And then on the back, you've got a slightly different take on the New Japan logo because it has like the bullet holes in it, right? So that's pretty cool. Probably wouldn't have noticed that if I you know, wasn't doing these videos. I just sort of pulled it out. I'm like, oh yeah, cool. So that is one thing that can be good about doing this sort of thing. Sometimes it makes you look a little closer at stuff. It makes you appreciate it just a little bit more, usually after the video when I actually can look at it. But either way. Moving right along, see? Slight difference. That's the standard logo, right? No bullet holes. Because if it was bullet holes in it, you know, people would think you're shooting at lions and then Pete would be all upset. Can't have that, right? Moving along, let's see. What's this next one right here? This is, okay, this is a Kazuchika. I did not say that right. This is an Okada shirt, right? We'll just skip to the end. I saw him wrestle once live and it was pretty cool, you know? I didn't know he was like a big deal at the time though. So I didn't really appreciate it all that much. I believe I did enjoy the match. It was him versus Austin Aries at some at Revolution Pro Wrestling in London, England. Moving along, got this here. This is a Halloween shirt, right? Because I figured, let me go ahead and get one of these. It's good to have a Halloween shirt or two in the library. So it's like the standard Pro Wrestling Tees logo kind of sort of thing, you know, turned into like a Halloween face or whatever. And then a tank top because you know me, I am a fan of things without sleeves on them. And so this one right here is a Naito shirt, and it just says Cabron on it. So there's that for you. And there we go. There's the shirt. So put that off to the side. See what's going on in here. Got some stuff from Amazon. Some of you might recognize these packages. Oh, okay. This is a Taking Back Sunday CD. It's kind of like the greatest hits in some ways, but they do have a couple new songs on there towards the end, like one or two, you know, not a whole lot. But it's solid, you know, I really like them like a whole lot. So I've been listening to that album for a while and I finally decided to just go ahead and buy it, you know? I don't know why I didn't buy it before, probably waiting on a sale, but certain things don't really go on sale a whole lot, you know? 
But the uh, the upside to that one, you know, with a lot of Amazon CDs, if you buy them, they will also send you like the digital version, like the MP3s and stuff, so you can listen to it immediately if you want to. As if people don't already have like Spotify or something. Moving along. So this shirt, it's not for me. It's for a friend of mine. It's one of the House of a Thousand Corpses shirts, you know, fried chicken and gasoline. So there's some sort of inside joke about this because, set that slightly over there. Because up in Newport News, there's this Dodge's chicken place, or maybe it's Dodge's gas, but they sell gas and chicken, and it just seems like you should do one or the other because of the cross-contamination, you know? Some of our other friends, they think it's great, you know? They're like, oh yeah, I gotta get our chicken from there. It's like, I wouldn't. And then, so me and that other dude, we're not about that. So I saw that and I'm like, oh, he'll appreciate that. There's a couple stickers in here, because this came from Terror Threads, right? There's the other one. There'll be a better picture without my finger all in the middle of it. Now, on to some figures that I picked up in stores recently, mostly from Target, I believe. This is the Zodiac. I don't really know a whole, whole lot about the dude, but it's a cool looking figure, so that's why he's here. It was one of the collector's edition ones, so if you happen to see that out in your local Target, possibly your local Walmart, you know, consider picking it up because you could probably trade it for something that you do want if you don't want that. Also, I happened to see Candice LeRae at Target the other day when I was out there with uh, mom and dad. I've been wanting this figure, but I didn't want to pay extra for it because, you know, the ringside, you do pay a little bit more sometimes. If it's new, you might pay like 23 ish dollars or something instead of like, you know, saving like the $3, like if you just buy it from the store later. And sometimes I am quite cheap. And then there was also Asuka there that same day. So I had to get this because it's like the one that I really wanted from that set. Like the only one. You see that on the back there? Yeah, not a whole lot of stuff going on that I'm trying to be a part of. Personal opinion, you know, nothing against those people as individuals, but the figures were just not doing anything for me. So keep your eye out for that, that what's the name? Apollo Crews, because there's one in white shorts. And if you see the one in the white shorts, that's the chase. So consider getting that, you know, because again, you get trade for something you don't, you do want if you don't want that. Billy Gunn. I found out last Wednesday that apparently, like at the AEW show, right, he came out, had a match with Darby Allen. Didn't know this, but my mom is like a huge Billy Gunn fan, which I still think is weird. But yeah, she was the only person in that whole arena cheering for him during that match. It was crazy. But yeah, so... I was on Target.com the other day, trying to get some pre-orders in for the next wave of Elites, and I saw that they had this one in stock locally. They said one more left. And I was like, let me try this order now for pickup thing. And it actually worked. So if you're looking for figures, check that you know are gonna be at Target's, check there, and if it says they're in stock, they may actually be. So I went over there that same day, picked it up. It was pretty all right. And at some point later that day, or maybe the next day, I was at Walmart, saw this right here. This is a Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze Shredder. It's the 30 year anniversary edition or something or other. So as you see, it looks a little bit different than the other two that I've shown off. So now I guess I have the whole set. I mean, hopefully it's the whole set because I don't think I need to keep buying those things, you know? They do look really cool. And I mean, for only $30, it's like you get a pretty nice premium figure for that price. So it's kind of hard to not buy them, but I can't sit here and act like I actually need them. You know what I'm saying? Now this is somewhat surprising. So AEW has a couple Amazon exclusives, surprisingly, right? And this is one of them. This is, they also have a tag team of Darby, well, it's a two pack of Darby and Moxley. So this one looks very much the same as those two figures I already have, but Either way, this is an actual tag team pack, so it's kind of a cool little display piece if you don't open your things or whatever. But yeah, I saw that and I was able to get my order in. I hesitated on the Darby and Moxley, so I will not be getting that one unless they do a full sale later. But either way, Amazon's got some AEW exclusives and some of them are pretty decent. Some of them are just recreations of things like they already had if you buy those figures. So, just keep your eyes open. Ah, and what do you know? Here's another one. This one was also put in a box, which is convenient, right? Because I saw somebody, flip that around for you. I saw somebody post a picture of these on the old Instagram the other day, and they had theirs shipped like 
they had that one, right? The one I just showed you, the tag team. But it was basically just the figure with a shipping label slapped right on the box. And it's like just thrown into the mail, which is the worst way to ship things. Side story, earlier today, a friend of mine was at the post office and he saw somebody like mailing some shoes and they take the shoes out of the shoe box. Well, first they had them in the box. They put the box into like a priority mailbox and they saw that it fit, but then they pulled it out, took the shoes out, just dumped them into the mailing box and threw the Adidas box in the garbage and just mailed the shoes that way. Don't do that, people. It's not cool. I don't know why people are thinking that that's like a thing that should be done, but it's not. Now, let's set this knife down here with Mr. Taker. There's an Undertaker figure on the floor over here. I was doing some unboxings the other day, but didn't get around to all of them. Gargoyles, right? Ne by NECA. So this, I told myself that I'd buy it into this if they did the set, and they said they're going to do the set. So there you go. There's Goliath. So I'm just going to stick with him and his five or six little buddies, you know, whatever their names are. Man, this thing looks pretty awesome. So that's very cool. Ordered this from Big Bad Toy Store. So if you're looking for one, they shouldn't be hard to find, but they're also out there in Targets as well. I want to say in stores it's a Target exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. And now let's see what's going on in this last box, which comes from Amazon. Okay, so we got ourselves a couple PS5 games, so Ratchet and & Clank and Miles Morales, Spider-Man, because, you know, Black Friday deals, right? These things were like $50, normally they're like a million dollars, because PlayStation 5 games are apparently super expensive. And this is the Ultimate Edition, so it's got all a bunch of crap that you would normally not have or something. So, that's very cool, right? I still haven't opened that PS5. It's been sitting on the floor somewhere for like, yeah, exactly a month now, I think. So, sooner or later, I'll get to it. And also this. It's the same as Zane figure in a not-so-great box, because if you look at the back, you see it's as if somebody just cut it with like a razor. But, I don't know. I saw it, I liked it, I wanted it, and so I got it. That's kind of just the story of my life in a lot of ways, you know? And now we're good, now we're done. So, from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Like I said, I might be going live in some hours from now when AEW comes on. Or who knows, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just sit here quietly and watch it by myself. We'll find out together. Later, people.